800,000 is for a man. Okay, that's the controversial matter. Now, the 800,000 was reported to the police and described to belong to Cecilia Dapai's brother. Mwa mo kika se skano e eni ni adiano mo huwe si si ma minu wa asem no kwa ato nuo. Jandamu na apola do much boy ano. Get it in your head. The money ah na e wo Cecilia da pano it was over five million dollars in a negusiye. Anabo abna Cecilia da pano busi afu ne sem e negusu e da e abonti so biya di e kapia e da na no a o church ren se mu e oho ne e Paul adu mo chire owo e Metro TV e be e analysis bi e de fasa en sem na ho e chire mu se e e abna Cecilia da pano mi chire e e ono abu ya na se ya wa resign se o ye sanitation minister no abusi afu ne sem na be to abonti so se ne house help e via e e ni sika e one million dollars Nay, three hundred thousand euros. I will move a good year and any aki can win in ano. I will see a for no and a pola do much re a be ye a munch re chile mu echre mu se. Sir, a mu a year three hundred thousand euros. Nay, a year honorable Cecilia a brand a pa a year nukunu a dia and a fell so a year eight hundred thousand a year dollars and so now so a wo a year box case ye much as a padlock in a dano. Now momo no ni a mo money a kongo se a year sika a year ira wo fi hona a year ko ma die kente ene ne ma hodo ayira ayira wo fi ono se padlock na na da sa sika pudu ono ano no na che se ye bi eye padlock no na sa sika no so ewo eye box kese ni mu no so eye sicilia da pa eye ni nua be ma bi a wa free mu at the age of 60 years ana che se o free mu na sa an sa na eye ne brother ne be wu no sa eye sika na kasa na wo eye honorable sicilia about da pa eye ne ma me enwo ana che se eye ne brother ne di be wu ye but sika ni dia ye ne brother ne dia enti ne brother no e free mu no ana che se ma me ne se ene ye se sika no o se o de ma e abna da pa e di su e o brother peni e we nya ne be bi ko ne dia dia ene ye je ne fa si ho se ne be ye obi emfa ne nsa enko ka sika ni enti e didi ma ana ma me no so e free mu o we ye nchire chire mu a paul ado mo chire e de ba ye a e da bo enti so anko fo e ka ho asem o ho enti ma me ne so de free mu no na che se sika e ye 800000 dollars no akwa ko di e ye onabo e ye abna Cecilia da pa ni fie na no mu na ne house help no e ko bie sa sika no so e so enti na che se no e ye office of e ye special prosecutor e ko pie mu ofie ho no mu ko ye investigations ni ade no o mu ko bie padlock no so na che se sika no so na bi san wo e ye bag mu e na bi san so wo different bag no so e ye 200000 dollars e no e na ye onabo abna Cecilia ni da pa ni dia e na fe so ko ma dia ni sa kente ni ade no na ye ma me ni dia but 300000 euros ni dia na ye nku no dia we ni nchire mu aye paul adomo chire de ba na gana fo se eh defendant to pay the way they were defending ma me ne pepe pepe e wo ho no mu se ni asem na tie no paul adomo chire enti mi nchire mu se abusu afo no nti na na ya brefo e be bo na chi sanso na kevin taylor aba be bo na chi e wo na se ne ba ko ti o ma ba no ma men ka o se tap tap send ye juma ko bia wo europe canada us o send this car e dey aba gana wo dey form mo account and as a bank account bi mo dey na ko play store and as a app store na download the tap tap send app no o download we be bisa so we promo code and also be word part tv e dey assure word part tv show we are europe e be cheo 5 euros so canada and as a us so be cheo 10 dollars uk e 5 pounds in the cost na use tap tap send app no fe do juma nyina e ho for my yen kwae nyen ko tie na na ya brefo na fe so kevin tell ya ko ba ya to aso e dey amount no be be say say ntin senka say ni nua dia which is about 800,000 na mso mo mo amo keka no mo hu ahi mo amo keka say sika no e ni nua dia no mo hu ashi si ma me no asem no kra ato no because me assure say by this time wonu amu no by this time me assure say by this time wonu no hu kra say asem no wo kwa police station kwa report o ye because we su su say e be ba no sa na me say me bi say o OSP ko ni fie ni de omo kokan ye do wele nan e ni do wele num no de omo koto ye no outside the 1 million plus 300000 dollars no akwara na wi ana se bi ono so adimi die wo de akosi dan wo wudu mram e di bi ese dan e wo tamale nyan se ni tri mu nti wo so ya 70 year old wo di nyan se ya ohun se ska nti se ya ya tamwa e ni ya tri abro tire ya de bi a ba hwa wo ho wo adimi nti Ya mubia, kabe tre bebi abe shiaye. Ya ya mubia, kabe tre bebi abe shiaye. 
because the ababa would say eight hundred thousand. No cry, you need a idea. to them, no, it's mind mind blowing. It doesn't make sense. Yes, I mean, I'm a Muslim. I want to jump on Chrome. They know what I'm talking about. Some of the Muslims, they know. And when I come back, they say, "Remember, you. I'm just coming to tell you, Jandam na pola the much boy, you know. Get it in your head." The money ah na a war Cecilia da Paulo it was over five million dollars in a negotiate. Paula the much big now here comedy and drive a boy and damn mumu san say fact 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 na any day any day you free the muba. If anybody can just come and say say believe me these are the facts there and if we be able to because believe me these are the facts. I thought Paula the much was coming to show us a documentation a trust say eight hundred thousand dollars na on so called. Sicilia da Palmiana, where would you? Edema Sicilia da Palma, me, Emma Sicilia da Palma, Miss Wu, and me a Tom Sicano. Polarmotri, a description of this whole issue is funny. The money was in the box, it was in the brown box, and they broke it. And I don't, nobody cares about that part. Nobody cares about whether it was in the box or at the end of the day, we were living our lives until Sicilia da Palma went to the Ghana police service to tell them that they sick Ira. And the funny thing is, when you read the police reports, the items they put out there, Cecilia the Park Kuno, Missika won't pay three thousand dollars, three suits pay and all. Ah, yeah, on unquan, your bonny deal say, new kununta de suit me and sa three thousand dollars. That means thousand dollars for one. Jewelry, almost a hundred thousand dollars. They say Cecilia the Pad, yeah. And the rest of the monies. Ain't he how can you just come on TV and come and tell Ghana for say? One hour facts and facts in any day. Oh, since the rapper, Nin Mio, we are in the obituary. What about them? Obituary. Time out, Vicky Hammer. Eh, Kase, she's just dreaming, thinking. No, did you people say, say, oh, eh, Victoria Hammer, eh, we need to look at the issues? What I can tell you for a fact, and I say, nobody in the NPP has integrity to speak on Ghana. From number one to number ten, those people who want to be flag bearers in the NPP, have you heard even one of them speak on this issue? No, this is a very controversial issue. This is a very sensitive issue. If you want your integrity um, to be intact in a political party, especially when you want to be president, these are issues that you take by the horn and you speak on. All the so-called aspirants who want to be flag bearers of the NPP. They have all avoided Cecilia the past crime. You know why? Because some of them almost MPs didn't any almost included. No, they are all thieves. Is it not interesting? Say we have about ten people wanting to lead the MPP, and such a crazy issue is see. We are talking about a cabinet minister involved in such a crazy issue or incident, and none of these guys have been able to speak on it to say, you know what? I am I want to lead the NPP. I feel that Cecilia Dapa this or Cecilia Dapa that or this issue. They have refused to speak or you know why? Because from Baumia to the last person on that ticket, they are all thieves. Omia Krom for. And these are the same people who want to lead you people. It's the same political party. That is why every day I keep telling you when I see a catch them, Sam conformity to social media, I can say, yeah, your third force, yeah, the DND. The question here is. Do you people still want these fools to lead us? If you don't want these fools to lead us, who do you want to lead us? Someone per se say you fool we able leader because at this point I don't know why anybody should make a case for the NPP and say NPP, we just have to let NPP move on, move on with which, which people? These are the same people. And to the question here is, some of us are third force or some are freedom fighters, no? Unless I'm happy, you know, from unless if you are, if you are, if you because you are seeing this there's an alternative there and you are telling me say oh npp dey o ma say man no na npp a say man na ye nya man nto wosa e wo so obi di man no so am se fa se we an kasa na mu aye den obi a kire na dwe obi a e gbo polad mo kire e chi e wo ho na ye nko ye nko tie polad mo kire nsem no o kire kire na bia na wonya bi hwe ye ye ko ba ya to aso wo ho nso e de amount this is a this is the man now the, the, let's get to the stolen money or the, the missing money or whatever it is. Okay. So, no, we won't start with 800, please. Let's start with the lower one. Please, 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 please. Yes. Okay. So, this is the first amount of money missing. 
200,000 United States dollars. It was in a bag, according to the report that was made to the police. And the report that was made to the police is months old. The amendment to the charge sheet occurred on the 20th of July. The story broke in Ghanaian Chronicle on the 21st of July. So if people are concerned about the amendment of the charge sheet, it was done at the time the story hadn't broke. Since the story broke, Cecilia Dapa and the complainants have not changed any part of the story. And that's very important for us to establish because we asked them that this charge sheet you are giving to us, which has been amended a few times, has it been amended since the story broke? And they said no. The last amendment occurred on the 21st, 20th of July, whereas the story broke on the 20, 21st of July. So since the 21st of July, which is last Friday, no changes have been made onto the charge sheet. And we, we, we need to satisfy ourselves with that, okay, before we get into the story. So we were told that, okay, $200,000 in a bag belonging to Cecilia Dapa, $200,000 in a bag belonging to Cecilia Dapa was tempered with. Let's move on. 300,000 euros in a bag belonging to Mr. Osaikofo, Cecilia Dapa's husband, and her business was also in a bag inside the room. Okay. Jewelry in a container was also in the room and it was also tempered with. Some of it stolen, some of it brought back, and they don't know, the police don't know how long the stealing took. But it wasn't a one off stealing. I don't know how you call it, conversion for lawyers or whatever. It wasn't one off stealing. It was pilfering, stealing small, small. Mabana comes, take 10,000, gives it. This one comes, take 10,000. This one comes. And it was, somebody was caught red handed. That's the story. I mean, that's one people know already. It's in the chat sheet that came out. Some, some, the guy was caught red-handed. He said, oh, me, dear, I just took this one. But yesterday, Mabna took this. He bought a house in the man here. Uh, the Mabna says, Dauda took this and he's going. Dauda says that this one took this. So that's the way the thing happened. As we say it in Pigeon Mania, like that. So this is also a box, jewelry. So we've accounted for 300,000 euro belonging to Cecilia Dapa's husband, 200,000 euro belonging to Cecilia Dapa herself. And... The big one, um, yes, no, 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 the big one, this one, $800,000 in a wooden box with a padlock in front of it, $800,000 in a wooden box with a padlock in front of it. Now, the alarm came when the padlock was seen to have been broken. It's not in the safe, it's in the, all of this was in her house, $800,000 with the padlock in it, okay. Now, let's go and account for the funds one by one, according to what is on the charge sheet, as she reported to the police. Okay, let's start. Let's go back. Oh, let's, let's go back and start. Okay, so $200,000 belongs to her. That's what she wrote. It's for me, Cecilia Dapa, $200,000. Okay, 300,000 euros. It is for my husband. He wrote here, I said, it is for me. It's for my work. Okay. And then um, 800,000. The jewelry is for Cecilia Dapa as well. 800,000 is for... A man. Okay. That's the controversial matter. Now, the 800,000 was reported to the police and described to belong to Cecilia Dapa's brother. We'll, we'll get you the details of who the brother is, what he does, where did he gets 800,000 from. We'll get you the details of who the husband is, what he does, where did he get 300,000 from, as it's on the charge sheet. And then Cecilia Dapa, we all know, we all know what he does. We can raise the question. And this is it. Where did you get your $200,000 from? We can raise that question. We will raise that question tonight. But here, this $800,000 is controversial. Why? Because it doesn't belong to Cecilia Dapa and her husband. It doesn't belong to them. The $800,000, according to the horses that Dapa wrote to the police, which is in the charge sheet right now as I speak to you, if you get the charge sheet, it is there. And it was written months ago. It is for her brother, who died, unfortunately, at age 60. Before the brother died, she had given this amount of money to their mother. That their mother should keep their money because he was going to use it for an enterprise. I'll show you the brother's profile and you, know what he, you will see what he does and then you can understand and you can make your own decision whether he could have $800,000 or not. People in Kumasi know him very, very well. Okay. So that money was given to Cecilia Dapa's mother before the man died. When the man died, Cecilia Dapa's mother called her and said, your brother's money, the one he gave me for the purpose of, I'll show you the purpose as I talk the story, for the purpose of X, Y, Z, it's still with me. I think I should hand it over to you for safekeeping. 
So Cecilia took the money with the consent of the other siblings, the consent and concurrence, if you like. With the consent and concurrence of the other siblings, she took the money. Okay. So now the money is with her. Then her mother, who gave her the money, also unfortunately passes. And those who know Cecilia Dapa know that she had two funerals almost close to each other. Her brother and her mother. Everybody went to Kumasi for a president was there. Everybody was there. Okay. So when her mother died, this was still with her. And it was given to her with the consent and concurrence of her brothers. So once this was tempered with, how was she going to inform the other brothers that our brother's money that was given to me has been stolen? She was going to suffer a family integrity crisis. Hence the report to the police. For our comments, for our comment session, for my Samsung our TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, we be here. I the part TV. Me doing AMS. I'm at the Pebble Samsung Eshevium. Makram. Hey, Johnny. Alpha. Ah, who the media grana? Who catch me? Say who send me sick? I'm a man. My turn, my turn, my turn. Sick, I'm a madruda. Alpha, I'm you. My company, I'm a consala. I'm a drummer. So I'm a musician. I'm a pom. Hey, sabre ya sabang la. Tap, tap, send. Tap, tap, send. Ready, move, come.